Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F-18C Hornet video, we'll be taking a look at the AGM-62 Walleye TV Guided Bomb. So the cool thing about the Walleye is it has a TV seeker in the middle that we can use to lock onto a target and drop it as a fire and forget weapon. Another way you can use it is with a data link pod, and allow that same video to be transmitted to the cockpit and allow you to steer the bomb onto the target. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to use the walleye without the data link. And in many ways, it's almost like a maverick that will lock the seeker onto the target ahead of hand, uh, launch it, and then it's uh, fire and forget at that point. Uh, so first we'll select uh, air to ground master mode. We have WEDL for a walleye uh, data link. Select it twice. And now we'll set the uh, TDC to the left uh, DDI with sensor control switch to the left. And now we'll press the cage uncage button on the throttle to uncage the seeker. And we can see both of these indications in the uh, top right corner. So now we can use the sensor uh, slew switch to slew the seeker. And the uh, box we see here indicates where the seeker is looking off bore sight. So let's find a nice juicy target. So it looks like we have a radar station over here. So what we'll do is we'll line up the uh, target between those two crosshairs in the middle. And now up on the HUD, we see WE, uh, and it's not crossed out, indicating we have a valid lock on that target. And also the reticle here on the HUD indicates the line of sight to that target. And at this point, we can drop the bomb with a weapon release button. So, weapon away. And note that little uh, propeller on the back is not an actual propeller, it's a generator that's uh, providing power to the data link and the control services. And at this point, it's 100% uh, fire and forget, and the bomb will home in on the point that we locked it onto while it was still on the aircraft. Speed up time. Yeah, as you can see, very simple yet very effective weapon. Okay, so now let's take a look at using the walleye with the data link. Okay, so building on what we learned from using the walleye, let's use it now with the AWW13 data link pod. So again, we'll come back and we'll select air to ground master mode. We'll select walleye from the SMS page twice. And now we'll set the uh, uh, TDC to the left DDI and we'll uncage the seeker. And we'll slew the seeker to the target we want to attack. And we'll go for the um, EWR antenna again. And note up here on the HUD, it's crossed out. WE, indicating it does not have a val valid lock yet. And we'll just keep the uh, target between the two. We have a good lock now. And at this point, we can go ahead and select DL13 for the AWW13 pod. We have the video now being uh, driven. We can select weapon, and then I'll select the weapon as the walleye. Now, the uh, channel is selected to allow the weapon, the walleye, to talk to the data link pod, and it has to be a uh, correct channel between the two. Right now, it's not. Right now, it's at the channel two, and it's looking for channel eight, because the channel is going to be based on the weapon station, and the weapon is currently on station eight. So we'll go to USC, channel, Eight and enter and now the pod and the weapon are talking to each other and providing video now I can release the bomb and at this point it's again pretty much a fire and forget weapon and the difference here now is that the walleye seeker is sending us video that we can see on the DDI via the data link pod and the cool thing is as it's guiding we could actually use a sloop uh, hat to move the cursor around to go after a different target if we wanted to uh, two different fuse options, instantaneous and delay. We'll keep it on instantaneous. And drag 
in this truck. And that's how you use the walleye with the data link. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I think you're going to enjoy this uh, weapon quite a bit. Thanks a lot.